This video is part of the average to pro JavaScript in 100 minutes where we learn about some advanced JavaScript concepts that you need to know if you want to stand out from the crowd. If that seems interesting, then you can find a link to that video in the description. Okay, now let's learn about shared workers. Shared worker is a specific kind of worker that is accessible from several browsing contexts such as the window, iframes and even workers. I will show you how to use shared workers with two examples. In the first example, I have this HTML here. Right now this is just plain HTML, it is not going to do anything. But what I want to implement is when I reload this, then this window will communicate with her worker and it will ask the worker for some data and then it will log that data. And when I click on this button, then it opens another window and this window will do the same thing. It will communicate with the same worker and it will ask it for some data and when it receives it, it will log it out. And now for the second example, I have this another button that says send data to window 2. So when I click on this button, then window 1 will send some data to window 2 through the web worker. And same thing over here for window 2, when I click on this button, then window 2 will send some data to window 1 and window 1 will log it out. So let's start with example 1. I encourage you to follow along for web workers. I'll just explain you the setup that I have here. I have a window1.html file that has a title, an h1, a button that opens the window 2 with an anchor tag and another button for the second example which calls a method send that we will create in our script. I will disable this button for this example since we do not need it. And then we have a script in window 1 that links to script1.js. And for the window 2, I have a title, an h1, a button that says send data to window 1 and calls a send function in the script 2. I will disable this button as well because we do not need it for the first example. And then I have another script that links to script2.js. And then I have this worker that will be shared among these windows. You can create this setup on your own or I'll just make a GitHub repo and upload this much there. So you can directly download it from the GitHub repo. And once you have it, let's go ahead implementing those examples. Let's open script1 and start from there. Here I'm going to create an object of shared worker. And name of our worker file is worker.js. We interact with workers through a port. So the first thing that we do is that we start that port. And then if I want to send some data to the worker, then I will use this port and call the post message on it. And the data that I want to pass here is going to be an object. And here I'm going to add a command property and the command will be get data. And I will add another property that is script number and script number is going to be one. And now we will go to the worker.js file and here when a script connects through a port then the worker gets to know about it through the on connect event. So I will add this event listener connect. The callback function has an event parameter and here to get the port from which the connection is coming we'll create a variable port and we will get the port through this event. The event has this ports array on it and the first object in this array is going to be the port on which we want to communicate. And then to receive this message, I'll have to add an event listener on this port. The event will be message and through this callback function we'll accept that message. And the data property on this message will be the data that we are sending from this script. So here I'm going to write a switch statement and I will switch the command from this message data and if the case is get data then I will send some data to this script back and to send data I just have to call the post message on this port and the data that I'll be sending is a string that says script1 and then I'll break this case and now to read this message in this script I'll have to add an event listener on this port and it will be listening for a message and I'm going to simply log out the data from this message. Let's run and see if this much is working and it's not working. Let's see why it did not work because here as well we have to call the start method on this port and now if I run it then it should be working and we are getting the data back from our worker. Now let's implement a similar thing for window 2. 
The window 2 is also going to do the same exact thing. So let me copy this code from script 1 and I'll paste it in script 2. And here instead of script number 1, it will be script number 2. And now if we go back to the worker, then here the script 2 will also be getting this data. But we want to differentiate that. For script 2, it should say script 2 and not script 1. So for that, we can add a little if statement here. We can check if message.data.script number. Remember, we are sending this script number here in our message. If the script number is 1, then we will be sending this data. Otherwise, we will be sending script 2. And now let's run and see the result. We get script 1 for window 1. And if I open the second window, then here we receive script 2 from the worker. Okay, now let's learn how we can communicate between these two windows using shared worker. I'll go to my window1.html and I will disable this button. And now in my script1.js, I have to create this function. Function send. And when that button is clicked, then I will send a message to the worker. The message will have a property command. And this time the command will be send data and the data that we'll be sending will be stored in this text property and the text will be message from script one. This is what we will be sending to the second window message from script one. And we will also add the script number, which is one. And we need the same exact function for the second script as well. So let's go there and paste this function. And here I will change the script number to 2 and the message will be message from script 2. This is the message that we will be sending to our first window. And I also have to enable the button in my second window. And now in the worker, if the command is send data, then here we will check which script wants to send the data. So if the script number is 1, then we have to send data to our script 2. Otherwise, if the script number is 2, then we will be sending data to script 1. But when the script is 1, then how do we send this data to script 2? I mean, this port is the port for the first script. How do we access the port for the second script? We need the port of the second script to send the data, right? How do we access that? To access the port for the second script, when the first script is sending the message, we need the port for the second script already stored in the worker somewhere. So I will create a variable port1 and port2. The port1 will store the port of the first script and the port2 will store the port of the second script. And from my scripts, I'm going to send another message to the worker with a script number property. The script number will be one for script one and it will have a command property and the command here is going to be store port. So when the worker receives this message with this command, then it is going to store that port into one of these variables. So now let's go ahead and handle that case. The case is store port. And if the message dot data dot script number is one, then I will store the port in the port one variable. And if the script number is not 1, then it is going to be 2. And in that case, I'll store it in the port2 variable. And also we have to send this same message from script2 as well. So let's go to script2 and paste that message here. And let's change the script number to 2. And now in the worker.js, here we can send the data. So if the script1 wants to send some data to script2, then we can get the port of second script here and then we can send the message through the post message function and here the message that we want to send is stored in this text property and similarly if script 2 wants to send the data then we will access the port 1 and then we will send the data from script 2 to script 1 through this now let's run and see the result i am getting this script 1 twice that's because i forgot to add a break statement in my case and now if I run, then I get the script one once. And if I click on send data to window two, then in the window two, we receive message from script one. And if I click on send data to window one, then the window one does not receive anything. Let's see why. That's because here it is not message, it is mess. 
and now if we send data to window 1 from window 2 then in window 1 we receive that data.